hi everyone so i am making this lecture to explain some of the important topics of automata theory in today's lecture i'll try to explain pigeon hole concept which is the basic importance of automata theory so let me start with the topic pigeonhole principle before i go for explaining the principle let's take one some one small example say i have six toys and i have five boxes now i have been asked to arrange the toys or keep the toys in such a way that each and every box will have one toy right so i have to keep it in that fashion now because i have six toys and five boxes let me draw the boxes say let me name the boxes b and toys t so this will be b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 fine so i have five boxes and i have six toys let me place the first toy name it as t1 in first box t2 in second box t3 in third box t4 in fourth box t5 in five box so five of my toys are kept properly in each of the boxes because i have five boxes what will i do with t6 that is toy number 6 now this has to be adjusted in either of the five boxes that is present so either it can accommodate it can be accommodated with toy 6 toy 5 in box 5 or else with toy 4 in box 4 or else with toy 3 in box 3 or else with toy 2 in box 2 or else in toy 1 with box 1 in box 1 so i have to adjust that left out toy in either of the five boxes present this cons let me take toy 6 and adjust it with toy 5 so what will happen here the box toy b5 will have toy 5 and toy 6 in it okay this adjustment of one left out toy in the box that has been given to you is known as pigeon hole principle simple as that okay now how do we get because i have a countable number of toys and a num countable number of box it is very fine for me to draw the boxes and adjust it but if i have a huge number say 6 lakhs or 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs toys and i have say n number of boxes so how do i adjust that so for that there is a principle it says that if no how it goes let me explain it with this only because i have six number of toys and five number of boxes what will i do what i am doing over here i am dividing or i am trying to keep the toys in the five boxes i am trying to adjust the toys in the five boxes right so what am i actually is doing i am dividing the toys in such a way that each box has a toy so what i am doing is simple division we when we divide it with 5 i have right so this is 1.2 that means i am taking the ceiling value okay so i get over here 2 what what does this mean that there will be one box that will adjust two elements or two toys and we know this represents the ceiling value right this represents the ceiling value this bracket represent the ceiling value that is the reason we have taken 2 instead of taking 1 because 
this bracket represents the ceiling value. So, as the uh, principal goes, see we have got 2 over here and we have also done the same with our example. We have kept 2 toys in a box. There will be one box that will existing two toys and we have done that already. So this is actually what is pigeonhole principle. I have explained it to you with an example. Fine. Now let me state the principle. The principle says that if you have m number of items and n number of containers where m is greater than n then there will be one container that must have m by n items okay. so this is the mean or this is what pigeonhole principle says if you have m number of item in our example we have seen what are the number of items we have six okay according to the principle this is m and if we have n number of con containers so here what are what is my container box so let me represent it with n where m is greater than n here m is what items right so m is 6 over here 6 is greater than 5 fine so definitely m is greater than n in our example if this is the scenario then there will be one container that must have ceiling value of m divided by n and we have seen here definitely it's correct and we have explained it with this example <coughs> excuse me that box 5 the container has two elements two toys instead of one toy which the other boxes has so this is what is a pigeonhole principle now why is it named as region hole is that the principle is explained with pigeons it says that if let me take example 2 and say that there are 4 pigeons and 3 homes for them ok If this is there, then I have to adjust the pigeons in N, three home, four pigeons in three homes. So how do I do? <coughs> Excuse me. So M is what over here? M is the number of items that is pigeons. And N is what over here? M is the number of containers. Here the container is the house. So we have got M. And according to, con that means first step is finished m is 4 that is the items n is 3 that is the container second is what we have to check whether m is greater than n or not m is how much over here 4 n is how much over here 3 is it greater yes if this condition is satisfied then we will find that is the third step we will find m by n ceiling value of m by n over here what it is 4 by 3 okay so if we divide it we get
okay so here what do we find we find that it is taking the higher value isn't it so according to that it will be 2 the ceiling value will be 2 sorry I should write over here so it will be 2 because 1 point anything will be equivalent to 2 according to the ceiling value okay so this is what we get that means there will be 1 m that will adjust two pigeons let me see it with the diagram as we have seen before and this diagram is possible only because it is a small count we name these as m1 m2 m3 m4 okay so n is what pigeons n1 n2 m3 n4 where will n Sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. N1, N2, N3 and the con uh, items are M1, M2, M3. Fine. I'll draw it. Containers. Three containers are there and the containers are N1, N2, <coughs> N3. Excuse me. And the items are M1, M2, M3 and I have M4 left. Where will M4 go? In either of the three whom that is there. So this is what is pigeonhole principle. Thank you.